Kansas City Public Schools are delaying in-person classes because of increasing COVID-19 rates. District officials say for now, students will remain in distance learning or Kansas City Virtual Academy classes. However, almost 200 special education students will be returning to in-person learning on November 9th. Administrators say that they will continue to review the data daily and give bi-weekly updates to families. Also, in Jackson County, dozens of people may have contracted COVID-19 from three churches this month. The health department says 10 to 20 people may have been exposed at the Connection Point Church in Raytown and the Connection Point Church in Lee Summit. More than 40 people could have been exposed from small prayer groups and youth groups at LifeGate Church in Independence. Anyone who has tested positive from these exposures should contact the Jackson County Health Department. New guidance tonight from the CDC may have you rethinking how you interact with people throughout the day. The CDC has expanded its definition of close contact regarding COVID-19. At first, close, close, close contact was defined as spending 15 consecutive minutes with an infected person. Well, now a new study shows it's cumulative. That means brief exposures throughout the day can put you at the same risk. A member of the COVID response team at St. Luke's says, as we learn more about the virus, we need to adjust our safety protocols. I think it's going to impact some of those times when you're with a group for a longer period of time, um, but kind of broken up through the day. So potentially at work, say you see someone for five minutes in the morning, five minutes at lunch, five minutes at dinner, that would fall into a close contact now. Dr. Boyd says expanding the criteria for close contact will mean expanding contact tracing. And with the number of COVID cases rising along with hospitalization, she hopes people will take the recommendations seriously. Nursing homes and long term care facilities have until the end of the week to let the federal government know if they want to be in a COVID vaccine program. It's part of a plan by the CDC to vaccinate people in nursing homes without requiring residents to leave the facility. CVS and Walgreens are in charge of a nationwide effort to bring vaccinations to nursing homes. The head of an organization advising long term care facilities says the CDC is trying to be proactive. They are trying to create a network so that when a vaccine is discovered, it can be safely and effectively pushed out to the people who are the most affected by it. Private pharmacies and other health organizations can also help vaccinate residents and facilities. How to pay for that, though, is still under consideration. Kansas is seeing its highest number of new COVID-19 cases in the past three weeks. The state's reporting 2,400 new cases since Friday. Missouri is reporting a drop in new cases compared to the weekend. Since Sunday, the state is reporting 1,500 new cases.